Hello, welcome out to the Death Battle cast. We are the cast and crew of Death Battle. I'm Ben, I play Wiz. I'm Nick, and I'm the writer for Shredder vs. Silver Samurai. <coughs> I'm no, Corey, and I'm, what? You're Sam. <laughs> I'm Sam, and I'm the writer for Shredder vs. Silver Samurai. You could've just, oh. rolled. You could've just rolled with <laughs> no. it. You, you, you had a choice, and you made a choice. <laughs> it You've already derailed everything. I Five am Corey. Take that, Ben. And I'm the 3D animator. We just... I'm just, Chad, I play Boomstick. We derailed the really. show. This is That's just how every Death Battle cast goes. We never are able to stay on topic or are on track of our schedule. We're seconds in, we're off topic. Yeah. That's a record. What, part of the what was the topic? The topic was The topic was our names. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, you're part of the problem. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're not even, you don't even know. We're just trying to say our names and we're already talking about other things. Well, I'm going to use this opportunity since we're already off track uh, before we get going into the podcast just to talk a little bit about it. So if you guys haven't heard uh, about Hurricane Harvey, then that's insane because uh, it's been... Absolutely devastating uh, and a big deal for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Rooster has been organizing a relief effort um, on GoFundMe. You guys will hear about that really soon. Stick to Rooster Twitter and the uh to get an update about that soon. Uh, but if you guys want to do anything to help people right away uh, and don't want to wait on this GoFundMe, then you can uh, donate to the Red Cross, and it's super, super easy. Uh, you can donate $10 just by texting 90999. I'm just going to double check that. Uh, and it'll donate $10. Uh, so it's a great way to help a lot of people who need a lot of help right now. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, stick to Twitter and uh, Rishi.com for the GoFundMe page uh, for more details soon. All right. And $10 isn't all that much. I think, no. I think everybody can at least afford to give $10 to something this you know, catastrophic. I'm going to do yep. it right now. Go for it. That's awesome. Um, Go and check. also, Go. before we get into the typical Death Battle cast nonsense, uh, we are trying something new with this episode. We're... we're we're kind of mixing up the formula of the show a little bit just because we always go off on rants. Uh, so this episode is going to probably be a little shorter than normal um, with a little bit of a different structure. So let us know what you think of the new Death Battle cast. You can use the hashtag Death Battle cast or, of course, comment uh, in, below on ScrewTech.com or YouTube if you're watching this when it goes public over the weekend. Uh, but speaking of hashtag Death Battle cast, every week you can use that to interact with us for the community Death battle and last week's community death battle. Well, where we picked a matchup to throw to you guys to come up with some answers. Oh, it was Nick's thing. Was Juggernaut versus Hermione Granger. The matchup of the century. The one everyone's yes. been clamoring for. Really? I Everyone. Yeah, I don't literally get it. everybody. I know you guys said like you brought this up doing like a like a live show, but I don't get it. This I, I okay, when this show was like in its infancy, I tried to think of the most nonsensical matchup mm -hmm. that I could possibly <clears throat> think of. One where there's just like no correlation whatsoever. Right. That was just the first one out of my mouth and I've been oh. pushing it ever since because it's the one that the people actually want. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, is I, it? I know it. Yeah. You're are you okay. the, you're the spokesman for the people? I am. Is that what how you got your chain? All of them. <laughs> All the people. <laughs> well, he made it as a joke, and then I commented that I think it actually, there's an extra layer to it. Oh. Because if I remembered correctly, the Juggernaut actually had some resistance to magic of some kind because he's not a mutant, a mutant. He's got, like, he gets powers from a magic this crystal. gem, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which gives him a magical shield and, and, and right. gives him his super strength and that kind of thing. So, which I didn't even know that when you, I threw it out there, you, which just made it even more hilarious. You just threw it out there because you thought it was a clear stomp for Juggernaut just because he's a big dude versus tiny little poor mining Granger. But yep. the fact that if Juggernaut can truly resist magic, just completely knocks her out of the park. <laughs> she's got no chance, right? She's, like, that's the idea. She just gets steamrolled. But I, just, I don't actually know if I'm right. Like, this was just a thought from my mind because I remembered, oh, yeah, back in the 90s X-Men show that I, I, I watched way back when when I was a kid, I think he had some kind of resistance to magic. I don't know. Um, Haha, -ha, jokes, funny stuff. So now it's the time to figure out <laughs> if I was right. Once and for all. If this is really a one-sided <laughs> stomp in Juggernaut's favor or if her mining Granger actually stands a chance. What's Who her knows? Most, what's her most powerful does. spell? Avada, Avada, Avada Kedavra? Kedavra? I, mean, I don't know. The one that just, it just kills anybody. What? They can just do that? Yeah. Well, here's the, here's the deal, well, though. Yeah, there's it, to it. It, Think of it like a bullet. Um, so it has, to, it, it has to leave the wand and hit the person. It can be dodged, deflected, uh, you know, whatever. Dodge. But dip. also... Dodge. Yes, dip, dodge, yeah. dodge. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a Nevada cadaver, as the <laughs> ancient saying would go. Um, <laughs> and then kind he of. threw a wand. In the it. movies, you can dodge it and block it. Mm -hmm. In the books, it's specifically said that it's unblockable. 
Unblocked it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't describe it as a bullet. It's just a flash of green light and you're dead. Causes what? Bounce. Yeah. So I just always assumed range? that so long as you're Full pointing screen. at the thing you want dead, it'll just kill it instantly. It's your peripheral. There's no travel time of the of the spell. I feel like there would I feel like if you could break line of That's sight with so the deadly. wand. Hey. If you break line of sight with the wand, you'd be okay. So why didn't the why didn't Voldemort? Yes. Was, okay. Why didn't yeah. Voldemort just use that to kill Harry? He did. He tried. Oh. Twice. Yeah. Oh, so Harry died work. twice. Harry died yeah. once. Harry reflected it back as a baby uh, because of head. love. Because, his, because mom, his mom loved him. We won't get into the, we, this. Is not going to be an explanation tutorial episode. We do that every single week. Okay. All right. I it feel like we're helping on. him though. And it's always Harry Potter. Just go watch the goddamn movies. <laughs> yeah, we'll just watch the movies. I ask you to read the books, but just go watch the movies. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. <laughs> the whole point of the community death battle is not for us to just like. Talk about shit that we don't know anything about. <laughs> it's to uh, reach out to you guys and see what you guys think about the matchup. So let's bring up the first answers for Hermione Granger versus the Juggernaut. <laughs> I cannot wait. Who do you, who do you have first, Hermione? Uh, Ronald Thomas says, Hermione, she is a powerful wizard and one of the Juggernaut's weaknesses is psychic attacks, unless he has his helmet on. But by using simple spells, she could take it off, such as Wingardium Leviosa to make him levitate off the ground, and then she could use Alhamora, which is an unlock charm, and <laughs> just- Oh, that's, that's, I didn't that's think clever. about that. And then she could use Obliviate, which allows her to put false memories and his mind uh, and make him her butler. <laughs> <laughs> I love, this guy's very specific. Ronald's like, if I could take over the Juggernaut, he'd be my butler, because that would be hilarious. <laughs> well, like, he's he's pointing out, not even the Avada Kedavra spell, he's pointing out, like, very commonly used spells that they teach at yeah. Hogwarts. Not just spells so, that they teach, these are spells that she is specifically very good at. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Leviosa. Yeah, but you guys said he's, like, resistant to magic, so would well, any we'll of that work what, on him? We'll see what we'll the see. Juggernaut uh, right. supporters say We're still say covering here. Hermione here. Meanwhile, Lucas Silva says Juggernaut's immunity, quote unquote, is not to magic, but to psychic powers. Hermione's got this. I know his helmet. His helmet resists is. that. Yes. So you take That's off the helmet, like, like Ronald over here was talking about. You unlock the helmet, you can affect his mind. Right. I don't know about magic, though, because I'm pretty sure he can create a magical, like, force field. He has field a force field. And he's apparently used the force field to shoot it out at people at times. Oh, yeah. okay. It's really rare in an older comic. Well, I... I might be misunderstanding some Juggernaut stuff because we got Ronald Thomas saying that one of his weaknesses is psychic attacks and Lucas Silva says that his immu he has a, an immunity to psychic power. Well, that's what we were just saying. He's confusing because the Juggernaut, that's like the Juggernaut's main weakness is he has nothing to protect him against psychic control. Well, it's specifically because naturally. his brother, Charles Xavier, has the psychic powers. I forgot they, that they were related. Yeah, they yeah. always have the, the 1v1 thing where Charles is like, get off, get his helmet off. And then I'm gonna take control of his mind and right. stop him from rampaging. That's usually the only way the X-Men can actually stop Juggernaut. Yep. And so he wears the helmet because that's his weakness, because it protects gotcha. him against it. Anyway. Gotcha. And uh, we have relatable Maple <laughs> saying, uh, <laughs> Hermione oh, Granger man. winds up the time turner all the way back before <laughs> Kane Marco becomes the Juggernaut and kills him. So oh. that's the age-old question. That's the if that's the problem the with bringing travel. time travel yep. into stories. She didn't keep it. She gave she it did. back. Yep, she did. She had to give it back. And then they she all got smashed. <laughs> so uh, third year Hermione Granger can just go back in time. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> How are you doing? I don't know what the time turner is. If you had to make it's a, a necklace guess, with. Okay, okay. If you had to make a guess of the time turner, what would it do? I'm, I'm, it's a device to manipulate time. In what way? I don't like turn it in whatever way she wants it to go. Forward, that's backwards. Nice. Good job, good job, George. That's just con context that's English I context know. clue. I know. Common sense. It's literal turning because it's second, a necklace with Second, a... even <laughs> if she did all this, right? If the Jagannath's running at her full speed, she unlocks his helmet, he's still going to smack her. She's like, got shield spells. She's going to run. The Jagannath. The X-Men throw up force fields all the time. He I just should probably tell you that Hermione can teleport. Just at will? Yeah. She has to turn her heel and then right? she teleports. He's gonna hit her. That's before apparating, she does right? Anything. Yes. Yeah, she apparition. He's gonna hit her before she does. Uh, okay. Also, I do want to point out because this happens every episode. Uh, we we mentioned something. Torian doesn't understand it, and you guys try to explain it to him <laughs> all the time. Don't do that anymore because we want to do more like segments that's of true, that's quizzing true, that's true. Torian. And if we start explaining everything to him, <laughs> he's gonna know everything. No, you would no, no, no. I I would put money. No, he won't. I already have proof. <laughs> I have proof. We told him Gimli. Gimli. We had a whole episode on Gimli, and we showed it to him. He's like Gryffindor. We can do whatever the <laughs> hell we want, Ben. He'll forget. It'll make it even funnier. All right. Well, let's see what uh, Juggernaut has to offer. He's right. <laughs> all right. All right. 
Uh, we've got uh, Lord Holy Terminal. Holy crap, what? With Yo, I saw this. This is scary. Uh, on our podcast here. A small sample of what Juggernaut's healing factor let him survive in the past. I can't read the, the speech bubbles so there, but... I can tell you because I, I saw this. this. What happens right here is, uh, who's the guy in the black with the white face on there? I don't know that hero. Is that Vision? No, Vision. If it is, it's a weird looking Vision. Anyway, uh, he's like, how are you even moving? There's nothing left of you but, and the Juggernaut's like, but hate. So, he's <laughs> moving his bones with no muscles, because in the next panel, he like slaps him. And it's like, uh, okay. It's the spirit of the, the crystal. I can't, I can't remember what the crystal's called. It's like Cryterac. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. It's the spirit of the crystal, because what, ha what his powers are is he basically merges with the spirit of like an angry god who's trapped in this magic crystal. The angry god gives him the powers, and he basically becomes the avatar of this god. Mm -hmm. uh, so, that's probably the god manipulating his body. Regardless, he's just bones, and then he bitch slaps the dude, so that's pretty impressive. Yeah, and horrifying. Um, we got Shorty Taurus, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. He says, uh, magic does not affect him. He is tough enough to run through Earth for three months. His punches are strong enough to cause 4.8 magnitude earthquakes, and I do remember that one. And to top it off, Thor's hammer does jack to him. That is why you Griffin don't mess with the Juggernaut. <laughs> hey. That's pretty, oh, no. pretty good fun. Uh, Thor's pretty, hammer doesn't so affect fun. him? That's pretty Thor's sick. hammer doesn't because of the magic barrier. Because it re redirects magical powers. I'm right. Sure so, well, see, so what's happened, so he fought Thor, and Thor hucked Mjolnir at him. And Mjolnir just nails his force field enough to ta overtax it and bring it down. And Thor comes flying in after that and just starts punching him, but he still survives Thor's punches after that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, on, what was the, the other thing on there? Okay, running through the earth. It was one month, which is still insane. Because I, I learned a lot, because I, I wanted to... I want to start making sure we do just like the slightest shred of at least preliminary research on these things, right? Just to look it up I guess, a little bit. I mean, don't take what we say in the community death battle all that seriously. Oh <laughs> like, yeah, no, 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 not at all. Like here. I, when I say yeah. I'm drunk too, when like, I, whatever. Yeah, when, when I say this, I mean like <laughs> yeah, getting drunk off. Goku would really time. win. <laughs> I mean like I spent 30, 30 minutes on the internet just doing some preliminary just skimming. Like so, it's not by any means a death battle judgment. Um, but for things like that, so that when he says, you know, you run sure. through the earth. So I don't know how, but Juggernaut gets jammed like way down under the earth. Mm -hmm. Okay? It takes him a month of running through like granite and earth and stone with no oxygen, no food, and no water. And he's the whole time he's talking about like, I don't need air, but I miss breathing. And like, I don't need food. <laughs> But I was so hungry. And he just runs until he pops out in like the river off Manhattan mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, so that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Man, it takes you three months? One month. Oh, Those one words. Month. I miss breathing. Well, this is over a month. Breathing. But that's yeah, yeah. Crazy. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I did not know that. Man. About the juggernaut. So, okay, I do think that the fact that he his force field can protect himself from Mjolnir. Is a very impressive feat yeah. and does mean that Hermione might not be able to affect him with magic. Although it is a <sighs> physical object. Yeah. That's imbued with magic. That's kind of the big question for me is can he block Hermione's spells that would like levitate him, uh, remove the helmet, and that kind of because if, if Hermione can do that, I think she's probably smart enough to. The first guy, what was that unlock spell called again? Alohomora. Alohomora. That's really smart. Yeah, yeah. Because yes. if she can get if she can get the helmet off, Obliviate doesn't have a physical like beam or anything like that, and she can just wipe his mind and make him do whatever. But she doesn't know that the helmet protects that's him. True. Yeah. So that's something to keep in mind. Here, here's the here's the reason I'm going to say the Juggernaut wins. Mm. Um, because well, two reasons. One, Hermione is very good at coming up with a strategy when she has time. Like she she you give her problems, she yeah. will solve it. But like on the fly. Isn't really her strong yeah. suit. Big scary dude running um, towards her, breaking stuff. He doesn't even have to run towards like, her, because he can create shock waves with oh. his, you know, claps because they do that with all the strong people, uh, and then also he can create earthquakes by just slamming the ground. So like, I think he's got more than enough tools yeah. to like get her off her game for a second, yeah. and then he's there and just. I don't. I don't her. think Hermione's Herm Herm Hermione. Yeah. McDonald's. Sure. Um. I don't think she's the type of character that just <laughs> stands. Why was McDonald's in there? Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't think she's the type of character that would just stand at the ready with some crazy thing just what would you know coming at about her? her character? No offense. <laughs> I seen the one she, she, was her the, she was in the month. <laughs> she was in the movie that I seen. So <laughs> don't remember anything so about the movie except for the snake. Oh yeah, checkmate. You're right. <laughs> you got me. Actually, it's funny you say checkmate. <laughs> Because they had That's to play the movie that he watched. <laughs> <laughs> no, the chess one was the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, yeah, that was the Sorcerer's Stone. That was the Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Both were directed by the same guy, the same movie, uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with Juggernaut. Juggernaut. She's a small, frail okay. girl with a few magic spells. Okay. Uh, He's beaten like S class mutants by himself. Carry on. Silence. No. <laughs> um, okay, the, the one last potential. Mm. Ace in the hole Hermione could have is how much of that luck potion do you think she might have on her at any given point? She doesn't she have any Felix Felicis. Uh, she never gets it? She never got what did you it. say? No, remember. What was that? It's the Harry won it over her because of, he had Snape's book at the time. Okay. The, I couldn't remember if she learned how to make it herself or no. not. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, but at this point, it's a stretch. If we're using like... Post the books. Hermione. I mean, we're, that, we're, we're just making stuff up at that point. Though. Yeah, that's true. At no point, I don't think she ever made the luck potion. Felix, Felix She would have used it all the time. It's Felix Felicis. So, yeah. Felicis. No, yeah. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, then it's probably the juggernaut. Yeah. That's really interesting, though. Uh, if, she got, if, if she has time to prepare. What would the luck potion do for her? Oh, Dude, it's, it's just like. If to prepare, then it might be jug. Or, uh, it just makes sure that everything goes your way. Oh. Like it, it manipulates the world around you, essentially, to make sure that you're in the right place at the, at right, the right time, time and you know where to be in order to get what you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the movie's presented as like you act a little drunk and you're just kind of like, oh yeah, you're totally, well, totally you, high. Yeah, well, it also might be the fact that Daniel Radcliffe was probably wasted in that scene, um, but you know. Intentionally? Yeah, did you not Acting did you not decision? Hear, no, did you not hear about all yeah, that? Yeah, but was that a decision? I didn't hear about that at all. For acting. Yeah, he got like really, he, he was an alcoholic. Uh, it was bad. He was like, he spent most of the time filming the later Harry Potters and he was like never sober. Uh, ha, that's awesome. Really? Yeah, take that, childhood. How did I not know that? I didn't know that either. That's awesome. Yeah, he's, he's talked about it. Um, and like, anyway, that's, that's cool. But, I um, probably see it in his face. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm <laughs> okay, Harry Potter. So, but anyways, yeah, you see, I kind of drunk. I think it's, I don't think it's necessarily fair to say that Hermione can't think of things on the fly. I didn't say she I can't. I think you said that she said would be really good if she suit. had time, but. She's always kind of been their strategist. I'm thinking of like the the seventh book when the the uh, the ministry attacks or the not the ministry the the Death Eaters attack the wedding uh, at the beginning of the book. Mm -hmm. She's the one who gets Harry and Ron together and apparates out. She's the one who gets the strategy to. Uh, is she the one who gets the strategy to like unchain the dragon in Gringotts? I don't remember. And, I don't remember. Uh, ring the bell. To, <laughs> I really don't. I'm pretty sure she's the one. Who comes up with that strategy? She's basically their strategist. She may be, but a lot of her strategy comes from her very deep understanding of the world. That's true. So and she wouldn't know. Anything the juggernaut would be, about. you know, not even from her wizarding world at all. True. So I, I, I just think that she's not going to freeze up. She's not going to just not know what she can and can't do just for no reason. I don't think so. I wasn't saying that either. I'm saying that's not like her strong suit. Is the I think it kind of is. Though. Yeah. I think it kind of is her strong suit to to be able to plan on the fly and like create a strategy that actually makes sense. Because Harry's is just go with whatever his gut is telling him. Harry operates by his gut. He doesn't create any complex plan. He is the shonen He's not the smartest. He basically, this world. yeah, he is. really is. <laughs> Minus the uh, meaning. He's just, yeah. he's just the Happens. bravest guy there is, essentially. Right, right, right. And then Ron is just kind of there to follow his lead and try to be the same He's guy. the Armin of this little Sure. Really, yeah, like in uh, Hermione's sort of like the Mikasa. Yeah, well, sort of. I don't know about that. Eh, well, she, about that. No, no, uh, not, not in the same. She's not, Hermione gets her feelings. She's really effective at what on. she does. That's really the all point. I'm is about. I think she is smart enough to come up with a strategy against Juggernaut because all Juggernaut is going to be doing is rushing at her, trying to crush her underneath his giant brick hands <laughs> that are about the size of her. She's gonna see that coming at her and decide. She has kind of gone no, up against you the troll. And teleport away. The the troll for um from the first. Yeah, but that was the first movie when she was a baby. It, I know. Like, she froze up there, but after that she made it like. It, isn't it a big point that after that she made it her like business to not freeze up and like be prepared for everything? Like, I mean, she does get thing. in the war and stuff at the end. I know. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not I think she could come up with a strategy. 
I don't think she's having Maybe. time. So we Dragonaut got three Dragonauts. Juggernaut. I don't Juggernaut. think Dragonaut's fast enough. Dragonaut doesn't have super speed. He's strength. He's got super strength and super durability. He doesn't have super speed. I mean, I think his, it's one of those his super strength lends him extra speed. We didn't, we didn't like... mention anything about broomsticks. What if she gets a broomstick? Whoa, what? that's interesting. Flies around in the air. What's he going to do? He's going to yell. Underclap it out of the sky. <laughs> uh, I guess. Could, yeah. <laughs> three Juggernauts and one Hermione. Is that I really is? think she could come up with a strategy. I really do. Uh, I think she's got, she memorized like all the spells, pretty much all the spells that were taught. She's got an arsenal of abilities that I think she could probably work out some way to beat him. Uh, he does have the barrier, but we don't know if necessarily like spells like Wingardium Leviosa could work. And also, I did want to point out that in canon, he does eventually lose the barrier. Mm. He no wow. longer has it in, in the story. So there's kind of two different types of juggernauts we have to work with. One okay. with a barrier and one without the barrier magical powers. I think the gods basically... I think at some point in his story, the god basically decided, hey, you're not evil enough for my powers, so I'm not going to give you all of them. So he's just got kind of some of them. Okay. Which is more than enough to crush a little girl under his brick hand. <laughs> but, you know, uh, he doesn't have the magic shield. Yep. So without the magic shield, I think Hermione's got this... Game set match. Cheers. I'm still saying, I'm still saying Juggernaut. Juggernaut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Hermione. Uh, I'm gonna keep it interesting, and then I'll just switch to Hermione. Now I've decided nothing. Wonderful. <laughs> well, I hope <laughs> that, mean, that means we don't. No, have <laughs> that's why you said it, so it can keep going. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> no, it You're never gonna going. solve this stupid match. <laughs> you know that even if we do solve this one, I'm just gonna switch to something else stupid. I know. And push that. Well, that's further. more interesting. I want to see what else stupid you come up with. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the like last week he mentioned the, the entire Gryffindor house versus all the X Men, which is basically like a step up from. This. Oh yeah, we we mentioned that after we stopped recording, didn't we? I, I don't or, remember. Okay, because the the exact scenario was the house of Gryffindor versus like the New Mutants, but it takes place in Kevin uh, from Home Alone's house. Kim McAllister. <laughs> McAllister. Oh I thought it was McAllister. I just didn't want to say the right or the wrong. Last oh name. my God. All right. Uh, before we move on to anything else, we do have some fan art to show off. Some far from yeah, you guys. I we love showing that. off art that you guys send us on, on Twitter or, or you know, uh, email to us, whatever. Um, and we love showing it off here. So let's bring that up. I think we got four to show off, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I saw the, these are so good. I love the nickel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now Ultra Fine Sharp. Oh my God. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With what? It's Why me about the turtle. It's me because uh, it's your favorite Ninja Turtle. Neil oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got my umbrella about to whack you. What is the Krang thing? I I said uh, like I forgot I even said it until I saw this awesome artwork. But I said something like you know, you know what, what if I'm like a neutral or whatever and I've got a brain living in my stomach. <laughs> and then <laughs> somebody. <laughs> do you vaguely remember that? Line? I yeah, don't yeah. remember this at I all. But, and then this okay. awesome artwork came out and I love it. That's Thank awesome. you so much. Yeah, man, those are great. Oh my god, these are awesome. All right, next Thanks, one. Emily Let's check Samuel. it out. Team uh, yes. BTCN. Team <laughs> Bitchin. All right, I love Bitcoin. this. I do too, but here's the Bitcoin. thing. It's great, it's wonderful, but then I thought of something. So my mind immediately goes, oh, well, what happens when Sam's on? I'm like, damn it, then we're Team Bitches. Because <laughs> <laughs> we be BTCS. Oh, there's got to be something else that we can make out of that. I, does anybody remember what Bistic. I said my weapon Bistic. was? Because um, I think I said my your gun shoots other guns. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A gun that shoots. I just other thought guns. you. Well, yeah, because if you look, you can see there's like a tiny little. I just thought you had like a. a when I looked at this picture, I just thought you had a sh just a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I like my flamethrower sword. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There's the scissors. There's my lightsaber that shoots lightsabers. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's great. great. And Torian Skywater. <laughs> yeah. Oh my Where God. does your water come from? <laughs> Torian Skywater. Available soon. <laughs> Look at that face he I chose, like, too. I want, like, a... Your shit-eating grin. I was like, yeah, you want some Skywater. I want, like, a 24-pack of bottles with that label on it. And <laughs> people buying it. Oh like, what the hell is this? That's how people... You just have to come up with a hook. You just... Uh, like, Smartwater did it. I just want to set it on a shelf. It's true. Uh, yeah, but they... I guess. I mean, the hook is just his face. Yeah, it's, it's just <laughs> and it's it's nothing line. else on it. <laughs> it. You don't even know if it's water. <laughs> it could be vodka. <laughs> could Gasoline. Be Torian Scott water. No, It'll get you fucked that, up. That's a great label for vodka. Yeah. That's a good, it looks.
like one, it looks like I'm handing you a drink. One bottle in every 100. I'm handing you this vodka. drink. That it looks like you've been home. drinking some vodka yourself. Yeah, it's yeah. like, hey, you want some, you want some vodka? <laughs> <laughs> That's the slang. That's how you keep it on the down low. You know, you're just like, yo, Tori and you want some Skywater? Sky vodka. <laughs> Skywater is the new That's vodka. Like, oh, vodka. I can well, totally see that, man. like, not on the top shelf, but like the middle. Like, not in the middle. <laughs> like, you know, the Shooting for the stars. You mean like, like in people's reach where they can actually grab it? No, no just. So a top shelf is considered. I know. Works. I know. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, I totally drink that. I'd be like, what is that? <laughs> give, me the, uh, give me the liquor with the guy's face on it. Oh, some sky water. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, oh, we just God, got this brilliant. in. He's like, what is it? Well, it's vodka, but it has nothing else on the label. So He's like, what kind of vodka is this? You're going to have to find out. Oh, man. <laughs> Vodka and something about sky. I'm pretty uh. sure that's illegal. Like, don't you? Ha oh no, yeah. not on alcohol. Yep. You don't have to put the uh, like Grace. the whatever they call it, the calorie information. Oh, and the nutritional have, facts. Yeah, the nutritional facts. facts or there are none. It's you don't alcohol. have to put it on booze. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. So I'm learning all sorts of things this episode. Yeah, that's what we do. Right? <laughs> I can teach you all about booze. It's gonna all be. Day. It's gonna be 88 uh, percent. He's the Irish alcohol. One of us. That's right. 88 percent alcohol. He's, he's just, like. Calling out the Irish part, aren't you? Yep. You're like, pour me on your cuts. You see that? Like, you see that? Pour, pour, pour me, me on your, your cut. You <laughs> pour me on your cut. Drink me or pour me on your cut. <laughs> oh my God. Where does your sky water come from? <laughs> and where does your sky water go? We need to make that ad for no reason. Like, where does your sky water come Torian, from? Oh, wait, I abbreviated it. Torian Skywater. Put me in you or in me or on you. Oh god, Torian I fucked sky it up. Water. Wait, what? Where does your sky water? Wait, wait, come try from? that again. Yep. Torian Skywater. Where does your sky Put water? Put me in you or on you. <laughs> drink me or not drink me. That fits the conversation. There you go. Okay. Let's <laughs> we've got two more pages of these. Do okay. we really? Yeah. Oh, this uh, is I love yeah, that yeah. One. <laughs> You said it's a house. <laughs> Nick or Chad? Quick drawing of the latest death battle. Oh, no, Chad, you gotta say your lines. Oh. Well, I said Torian. Oh, you said Torian. Yeah. Shit. Oh, you said it's a house. Oh, because Nick doesn't have a line. Yep. I'm just yeah. Learn, Nick just got wake up. <laughs> Nick, it's fine, buddy. Why don't I have on two God, different God, shoes? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you I have on two do. different oh, shoes. Shit. No, your shoe came off, maybe. Oh, oh did it? I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 No, because I tried taking your shoe off. Your sock. Oh yeah, that's What's right. You didn't. Oh, see, it's on the ground. No, wait, that's my shoe. I'm wearing the same shoes as you. That's cool. This is really fun, though. I like it a lot. I did not see this one on the right, though. Why are you throwing me out of a bus? That's I, I made that joke because yeah, yeah, it's, from last episode or the one before that. Okay. I don't remember what I was talking about, but I basically threw you under the bus for something that we were yeah. talking about. Yeah. El, they drew you so trolly, Ben. Look at your yeah. smug <laughs> fucking your face. face. You're like, uh huh. <laughs> Out you go. That's my resting face. I like how just the face <laughs> looks like almost real. So everything else is, yeah. is a cartoony proportion. It's very like. Well proportioned nose, and yeah. it's not like the yeah. chin as the dimple and all it's that. Scary. <laughs> I do want to say, the phrase was throwing you. Actually, I don't know which one would look worse. We'll be okay. Throwing under a bus or, or out, out of a bus? Because I'm like either way, it could be misinterpreted. I like out of the bus better, and also Torian desperately screaming, "My glasses!" <laughs> They're not even broken. They just fell off my face. <laughs> they just fell off your face like two inches in front yeah. of them. <laughs> well, I mean. If, you, you, if that bus is moving, that's true. He's gonna be rolling away from him. <laughs> it's not gonna go good. All right, last one. Last. Uh, whoa. whoa. Oh yeah, these are awesome. The Sorting Hat versus the Cat in the Hat. I love it. Yeah. That was another <laughs> yeah, but for some reason the Sorting Hat's like taunting it. I mean, like I yeah. your wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a Hubble Puff for sure. Oh She's God. Who's Who's the cat? Who's the hat's wife? <laughs> Maybe it's the cat. That's oh, not weird. That's not a. I don't know. Mm. Maybe there's another hat. This artist is incredible. Another hat. How does that work? Oh, I, I get. Never I, mind. I can see it now. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, brain. God, for putting that in there. Uh, but anyway, they made our weapons that we talked about. Four ways. I love boomstick. Yeah. 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 I love. This. Like this is like boomstick. If you got you know dosed with look some at, venom. I was gonna then, say, look at how fucking jacked boomstick. Yeah, is. it's terrifying. Oh my god. But he's also got some like iron jaws going on. I like it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So like, I mean, oh that's God. great. Fueled by Everclear, that's great. If we, if 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 Wiz and Boomstick were gonna show up in Ruby at all, this is what I would want to see. <laughs> there you go. This Dr. is what Octopus I would want to see. Arms coming out. Totally. Oh yeah, yeah. Wiz would want that. Wiz would have that going on. He'd have all sorts of tech stuff going on. Yeah. I love the thumbnails at the bottom too. The man, 
you got, we got to do Dragon vs. Mining Granger for real now because we already have the thumbnail made. Yep. Practically uh, there. Yeah, that's great. There it is. It's Hermione looks a little bit like she belongs in Daria. You remember Daria? Oh, yeah. I got a I couple guess. giggles from broadcast. <laughs> I guess. That was a show. I don't remember that at was all. Was it on MTV? Yep. Yeah. yeah. It was on MTV back MTV in the day. I remember there. Daria. I just don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we already got the, the thumbnail for that and uh, Shredder vs. Silver Samurai, which we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, uh, Maybe. A, bit. No, a little bit. Yeah, cool. Is that the last of it? I think that was the last one. Man, this has been so cool. Like, all the fan yeah. art that people have been doing. Like, it's, yeah. We love showing the stuff off. It's like, if, if you've got an idea, if you're listening to us being stupid and something gives you inspiration or there's a death battle coming out or DBX or whatever and you want to draw something, <coughs> do it and show it to us. Just use the hashtag death battle Twitter or death battle cast on Twitter and it's, the, it's probably the best way to get it, get it to us and then we show it off. Yeah, so thank you so much, everybody who submitted artwork. We mm. absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah, love definitely. To see more. Hey, you know what else that we would love? If What's that, you would Chad? Go to our our merchandise store and, and buy our merchandise. It sure would be great. Uh, so <laughs> right now, I want to let you guys know that we have. Oh, so I want to see the shirt. There you go. You gonna show it off for me, Vanna? Mm. All right. Top so uh, yeah, right now we're having a, the huge Labor Day uh, clearance sale on Rusty Store. A bunch of Screw Attack merch uh, has been put on clearance. So it's like if you've been thinking about buying some merch, now is the time. Yeah. Uh, like this shirt's on sale. Uh, this shirt's wear. on sale. Those shirts aren't because they're brand new, but Torian's is. Uh, oh. But, uh, but like you can still wear. buy these shirts. Oh, of course. Drinkware hats. There's tons of stuff. So click the link in the description below, uh, and uh, you know. Check it out. And if you guys are watching this live, just head to the store.roosterteeth.com, click on Screw Attack, and uh, check it out. There's, like, some stuff is over 50% off. So, like, a bunch, Ooh, bunch of savings. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's getting it away, huh? That's so, pretty good. It's a great way to support the show. Uh, it directly goes to helping us uh, make more shows and our shows better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, yeah, we really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, we also appreciate you guys watching our show, obviously. Uh, this weekend, a new DBX is coming out. Master Chief versus Samus. This one's uh, animated by Zach, longtime Death Battle animator. It's yeah. super awesome. You definitely check that out. Uh, and the Death Battle of Shredder versus Silver Samurai comes out next week. We just mm -hmm. uh, yeah. released the preview for Silver Samurai, a character I know some people are probably one like didn't really think would be a good fit for Death Battle because like what kind of matchups do you have for Silver Samurai really outside of Shredder? I Pretty think it's much. gonna be a really good matchup. Ninja versus Samurai. Mm -hmm. both the classic. Them, both of them wear the, you know, the silver armor. They both have very kind of similar backstories with rivals and like being uh, being part of a clan that they try to take uh, rule, over, take yeah. over, but they're they're not supposed to. <laughs> we'll get into more in the actual episode. Absolutely. Um, and and yeah. next week we may have uh, Luis on because for any reason you didn't hear, uh, we did hire uh, yes. Luis uh, animating. Uh, you might go by CV Animation or Jets, whichever you know him as. Um, and it's been awesome, and I'm so excited for you guys to see this episode and, uh, you know, get to introduce you. First. We might have him on for a little bit uh, next week. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. I don't think he's been on Death Battle Cast at all, has he? He hasn't. No. Never I'm has. the only animator that's here. Well, that te technically, you're the lead, so, I mean, do you, wanna, do you want him not be here? No. Okay. He okay. can stay where that's he good. is. Whoa, whoa! I thought he was saying, like... He needs to prove himself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. No, it's going to be good. It's good to have him on here. He can sit on my lap. Good. Okay. He can That's sit cool. on your lap. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to hold you to that. It's going to be the most awkward thing ever. <laughs> it might be. It might Broadcast, be. Do we, can we get five people on this? We can do the five people. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'll Let's lay across it. the table and you guys can eat I don't know how many. No, no. Luis is going to sit in your lap. Hold on. It'll be perfect. <laughs> hold on. Wait a sec. Don't. Keep going. What's What we got next? He offered. No, I didn't. Sushi being eaten off of his body. I did. You, you did? Really? Yes. That's good catch, Nick. Yeah. Anybody right. watching the archive of this can rewind it and let's, hear let's, that as many times it. as you want. Yeah, yeah we can do, do it. it now. I've been like Sweet. losing weight. I'm, I feel like I'm okay. So no, you, you can keep wait. your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> no. We get sushi out of this. No, no. I gotta at least take my pants off. Because my oh, legs. Oh, great. Oh, oh, not the shirt. My legs Can't. are. Are, they look good. Can't wait for this conversation. You, you're, gonna, you're gonna want to eat sushi off of them. Oh my god. It's gonna go, hey Luis. No one make fan Guess art what? of them eating sushi off of me. <laughs> no. Oh, it's oh, it's coming now. Oh, it's coming. Uh, I really yeah. want next episode to just smash cut when it when it opens up to us sitting around this table with Tori, Tori laying, laying across, wearing a shirt 
but no pants. And <laughs> yes. sushi all over. Yes. <laughs> With socks on. Oh, socks. you never wear socks. <laughs> If the pants are off, the socks come off. That should be a rule. No, no, no. no. He, wears, he wears the screw attached. No, no, no. Socks. I kind of agree. Got from the, the Labor Day sale. Oh, Which yeah. Are, yes, exactly. Yeah. He's only allowed to wear screw attack merch. Yeah. Come on, Chad. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we don't have any, course, we don't have any like, screw works. attack underwear, though. <laughs> yeah, we also haven't made any screw. Never mind. I take that. Can part. we make some screw attack underwear before this? <laughs> Probably not enough time. Shoot. But, I mean, we could fashion them from other merchandise. Cancel it all. There we go. Cancel it all. Ben, you just got to tie a knot in a shirt. Oh, okay. You know. Oh, yeah. Or just wear a shirt upside down and stick your or I can just wear legs through the arm holes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, hold on. Real quick. But then yeah, what do you do about the, the neck hole? There we go. That's, That's the the problem. I want you to think oh. about that real quick. The reason oh. I said tie a knot in a shirt, but then you're like, oh, just put it upside down and put your legs in the arm holes. <laughs> <laughs> what does that leave? <laughs> a big problem. <laughs> oh, well, it is a big problem. On the person. Oh, it is oh, a big, I can God. wear a hat. <laughs> just put a hat on it. Just wear, just wear like a hat, like. <laughs> and then we put sushi on the hat. It's perfect. Oh no. Yep. Hats are awful on. They like they did pot. They did like pancakes on the Rooster Teeth podcast. This is Tori sushi. Oh. You guys are ready? Oh. You guys are ready for Tori sushi? Oh. I'm not ready for the fan art anymore. No one is. I'm ready for Tori Sweet. sushi. Sweet. Can't wait to go back to the office and be like, Hey, Luis, I've got good news and bad news. <laughs> The is good it? news is, you're going to be on Death Battle Cast next yeah. week. Yeah. The bad news is, you have to eat sushi off of Torian's hatted dick. <laughs> that was very specific. I, in my mind, it was like the legs. You just... <laughs> no, we already discussed this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we didn't discuss that Luis would be the one who has to eat off of it, but okay. No, he did. He said he wanted him to sit on his lap and eat sushi off of him. No, I wanted you guys to eat sushi off of me. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I think this is a great time to check out the Out of Context comic book panel this of the week. This is a great time to just get off Sweet. the Sweet. It can only go downhill from here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's is see it? it. I think this is the highlight of our day. Madness isn't Totally. Sweet. All right, quick. No. I know this one. Don't oh, my God. What? I'm I know this one. You win. I know sorry. the exact context. I'm sorry. I did the wrong sound effect. It's a skaloom. I was about to say it's a skaloom. <laughs> skaloom. What the fuck? This is a fake Spider-Man, right? Okay, guys. I, I already know the context of this one. I did not know this was going to be our out of context. You, all right, so don't. So I'm not going to say don't anything. Because I need to debate whether. It, first of all, let's. Do let's, you know if it's real or fake? I do know if it's real or fake. I know exactly where this came from. Let's talk anatomy real fast. Okay. Stomach <laughs> or testicles? Oh, God. For that third panel? For the second and third panel. It doesn't matter. All of it. Like, it's really Something low. is clearly expanding, and I is can't. Is he calling tell. out to Gwen? Yeah, he's calling Gwen. Yeah, he Jeez. he really is. <gasps> Dude, what? I don't know. Gwen. He ate Gwen. Mm, panel number. And she's gonna bust out of him. Panel number three makes me think testicles. His testicles, are, but it's but it's like his so face. He's thinking about Gwen and it's getting oh. problematic. <laughs> it's been too long. <laughs> it oh must my God. release. My only problem with that is that it's like his face and neck is exploding. It like builds up to his face from. I don't understand this what? at all. Is there I need like to a know. tube worm flying out of it? I need to know. There's also, okay, so the sound that's happening is like a gurgle. Skloom! Well, it's like gurgle, 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 and then skloom. <laughs> skloom! <laughs> so uh, it oh, makes fuck, it sound like the liquid. That's his jawbone! Yeah, yeah. That, that's flying out. A jawbone and then some kind of tube. You guys, like, I don't even. All right, Nick. I want to say this is fake. All right, Nick. Because the pan right, panel so number fake. two, especially, where it looks like he's hoisting his gigantic testicles around, uh -huh. like Randy Marsh in South Park. I'm going to say real. <laughs> I could hear Brian laughing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. say real. You're going to say real. Yep. I'm going to say fake. real. I'm going to say fake. Fake. Ben, are you just going with fake because you're hoping? Because that's what I'm, I'm really, doing. Yes, exactly. I, I really hope this isn't real. All What's right. happening? Do you, you want to know the answer? Is it legit? You want to know the answer? It is. Brr, drum roll, drum roll. Legit! Oh my god. It's real. What? What the crap? Okay, please explain what is happening. So I did come across this um, like several weeks ago. I just saw some article that it was, it was one of those clickbait articles, but I had to click it because it used this as the thumbnail. Uh -huh. It was titled like. Uh, like most horrific Spider-Man deaths or something like that. This is like Sandman poured himself into Spider-Man's mouth and just blew him up from the inside. 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know why he's calling out to Gwen because I think it only showed like maybe. What the, the fuck? Yeah. If this is like an alternate universe, if that wasn't obvious. Well, sure. Enough. Dude, holy shit. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's super dead. You okay. can't live without the entire front oh, side of your body being blasted the open like that. Well, what's with the tapeworm? It's, I think that's his esophagus. Yeah, it's probably his, his oh. esophagus. I think it's the only thing I can think of. We, wow. We've, we've talked about, for community death battles, like what would happen if a character got super small, went into another character and expanded. Could they potentially blow them up from the inside? Typically, I'm kind of not on board with that idea because they would have to expand at a certain rate and I don't know what would happen to the person inside. Sandman can. But this is an example of it actually working. Hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. That's like, gross. what happens? Like, when he dies, that's it? Uh, he, he, he's pretty dead. I'd say, yeah, he's pretty dead. I'm saying, like, was that the end of the end of this story? He I'm got killed so this hard. Is, this is how Spider Man died in canon. This is how the, 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 the next Spider Man movie is going to end. That would oh. be funny. What's crazy is, like, <laughs> clearly, by if you look at the panels, he didn't just like expand real fast, he did it slow. He took his time. <laughs> oh my god, you made it painful. Man, that imagine how. That would feel to be Spider. -Man. No, it would feel like Skloom. <laughs> he probably died at that fourth panel. Okay, so for a community death battle, That's horrific. Do we want Sandman to go up against somebody? Yeah. Sandman. Sandman versus uh. versus Knack. <laughs> they're, both, they're both made up of smaller particles. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about Knack. Nobody though. cares about like, Knack. I know. So this can be. They do. Know, they make you another want one. Sandman to kill Knack. How are they making? Are they making another they're huge making fucking another. controller to simulate childlike hands? What? Oh, what? They did that? <laughs> when they were making Knack, that was a oh, big yeah, yeah, yeah. thing that they like, they wanted to know, they wanted to make a control scheme that was easy for kids to play because it's a kid's game. So they made, oh, they they, it was something it. stupid. They spent like $2,000, no it was more than that. It was a lot of money to make a working controller that would be, simulate if they had the hands of a child mm. and it was larger so they could know where to place things. What about Sandman versus uh, Gara from Naruto? That'd be good. No, but could Gara would just control him. Oh, I guess that's true. Crocodile from One Piece. I don't know that. I don't know who that is. Who's the same guy? Who's the same guy? Versus Whore, the sand person. <laughs> oh, Star Wars Masters of Terracotta. Spelled H-O-A-R. The PlayStation One Let's... fighting game. <laughs> there we go. Sandman versus Whore, the Tusken no, Raider. Sandman versus <laughs> all of the sand people. Sandman <laughs> versus Frozone. Sandman versus a hundred Tuscan Raiders. <laughs> I did. I'm choosing to ignore it. Because we're running out of time and we need, we need a community death battle. That was a- what? That was a legit Sandman one! Sandman versus- Frozone! I Frozone? said Mac. I- I, I kind of like that because I, I don't think the-, the like, Where's my super suit? I need to get the super That's suit. That's all you care about with Frozone, is the super suit. Yeah, line. well no, he got cool ice powers too. <laughs> he, he was definitely useless in the fight. Why not you know Frozone versus it. Iceman? Yes! No, no, no. Let's do Frozone versus Sandman. Yes! All right. I win! Like, we've, we've never done an actual death battle of two just completely different characters fighting against each other. Yeah! Apart you remember, from- You remember 20 minutes ago? <laughs> apart from that <laughs> when one. When we did a fight with apart two- Apart from that one, characters. which was a joke. But this one is real. But this one- Yeah, this, yeah, this, this one's legit. Clearly not. <laughs> This, Th this is the real one. This is the real this fight. Gotcha. This gotcha. to the death. Sandman versus Frozen. Well, I'm legitimately curious what people would have to say about a, a matchup like this. Okay, let's do All it. Alright, we'll figure it out. I like it. Either way, this matchup should be incredible. Oh, God. Shut up. Jesus. No. Mm -hmm. No. Alright, thank you for joining us for another episode of Death Battle Cast. Um, if you're a first member, <sighs> be sure to uh, join us this weekend for our extended cut of, uh, of Death Battle Cast, Sudden Death, where we continue to talk about random bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and we, you really sold the wow. show! Really wow. sold it with that one, That's Ben. That's what we do! This show, here. random bullshit. You just sounded like you had disdain. I, bullshit. I, I mean, have you watched the show today? It like, was fun, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright, thank you for joining us, we'll see you next week. Later. Bye.